Hey boys and girls, Notso is back with you. Today we're going to do a very quick and dirty uh, MGRS video or UTM, the Universal Transverse Mercator System that's in the uh, Strike Eagle. It's coming out in the patch uh, tomorrow, I believe. So I wanted to get this out there just so you guys know how to use it. Um, it'll be very quick because uh, there's not a lot to it and it's uh, relatively easy once you, uh, once you do it. What I want to do is I'm going to start out showing you what the um, uh, route looks like just so you can get an idea in your brain of uh, where everything is. So the first target is uh, just kind of center of the airfield at Creech. I've got a, a bomber down here that we're going to uh, modify the coordinate using UTM uh, down to that. And then what we're going to also do is we'll change uh, target three all the way up to uh, Tonopah to an entirely new grid. Let me move that up so you can see it uh, up there. So I'll show you one where you don't have to change the, the letters. Just change the, uh, the, the digits and the other one will, will do both so you get the um, feel for it. And at the end, I'll give you a quick trick uh, to make uh, life really easy for uh, UTMs. All right, so let's, uh, let's jump in and we'll, uh, we'll get this started. Okay guys, so we've jumped in the jet uh, after uh, giving you a, a quick peek at the route. Uh, so the, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change uh, target two from kind of center of the airfield and you can see the, uh, the bomber is, uh, is sitting up here in the, uh, on the ramp. So go, we'll go to the uh, F-10 map and we'll get a good uh, set of coordinates for this. And we'll change the uh, grid system to uh, MGRS. So you can see 11 Sierra Papa Alpha uh, and the bomber is basically sitting right there. Uh, so 18228 and then 49326 and then 3126. I happen to have had that written down, so it'll uh, just take me a second to type that in. So what we'll do now is we'll jump back in. The way you find the um, UTM is you go into the steer point submenu. So Boink uh, PB10 on the UFC. And now you can see the, um, we'll go ahead and change it to two point. So you can see that it defaults to lat long. So what we want to do is we can change it to uh, UTM. Here's the, uh, the leading grid, and then to change it, you have to go down here in uh, PB8 uh, at program to, uh, to change it. So right now, you can see that if you remember from the, the grid that we just looked at, it's already 11 Sierra Papa Alpha, so we don't have to change anything up here. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but right now, all we're going to do is we're just going to change the grid. So uh, 18, 18, this is a 10 10 digit grid and then 49326. 9326. And we'll enter that. And the beauty is you can just type it straight in and enter it here at PV3. Boink. The key to remember is you can't enter the elevation uh, on this program page. So you have to deselect program. And now you can go back to elevation and enter it here. It's already at 3126, so that's correct. Uh, so now that's all good to go. So now what we can do is we can verify that. It's actually taken it, so we'll, we'll cue the target pod to the new target two, boom, and you can see that. So that's queued up right to the backfire bomber on that, and we can do the same here. We can type in two point, uh, and now you can see the target diamond has moved from airfield to the new UTM grid. So there's a very quick way if the, uh, if the grid is already set, uh, you just type in the numbers. Couple more things I want to show you real quick while we're there. Let's let's go back to some other point. Remember, you can't edit a point that you're steering to, so we'll apologize. Let me enter it here. So now we're steering to something else. We'll go into the steer point sub menu. We'll go to two point, and now we can edit it. So let's go back into UTM. Let's go back to program. So uh, we had a ten digit, ten digit grid. Let's say the JTAC only gave you a, a three or four digit grid. The key there is it has to be an even number of, of uh, uh, points. So instead of this 10-digit grid, let's say he just gave you 182493. Uh, so we have to enter that uh, as such, 182493. Notice that's an even number. There, there are six digits. And now that'll take it. Notice if I just type in those six digits, it'll add the, the trailing zero. So it'll still always be a 10-digit 10 10 -digit grid but it'll, it'll add the trailing zeros. If I re that, it's going to obviously be much less uh, accurate. So we can zoom in and you can see it's moved. Let's say we just put in a two-digit 
grid. So one eight and then four nine. So same thing, obviously it's an even number of points. It's gonna add all the trailing uh, zeros. Let's add that back in. And you can see that uh, that two digit grid is obviously very inaccurate. Uh, the key there is if you enter a uh, in, an odd number, let's say we do, let's go back to the original one. So 18229, 18229. Let's say I just, I forgot and left off the last one. So I'll put in 4932. 4932. Obviously, that's a nine digit. So we've left off that last digit. If I try to enter that, it's just going to blink at me. And that tells you, hey, dummy, you've probably left off a, a you've got the incorrect number of um, points. So remember, it's always got to be an even number, either two, four, six, eight, or 10, uh, or it's not going to work. All right, so great. So let's, uh, let's go back out. So if you remember, let's go back to um, uh, the F10 map. So we've already played with uh, target two, and target three sits right here uh, in a dry lake bed. But what we're going to do is we're going to now modify it to uh, be able to use the, um, the letters now. So let's get the grid for this one. So that's going to be uh, Levin, Sierra, Mike, Charlie. So obviously that's different than what's in there right now. And then uh, 91910. I've got this actually written down, so 91911, and then uh, 11750, and then elevation is 5391. So let's go back into the jet, and we're going to modify three point, target three. So same thing, we'll go to UTM grid, we'll go program. So notice now, we want to enter 11 Sierra Mike Charlie. So the way we do this is with, it, with a blank scratch pad, and that's the, the real gotchas, if it's not blank, it won't work is if you boink uh, PB2, so you can move this little carrot to the, to the letters that you want. So in this case, uh, 11 Sierra is already correct, so we're just gonna go to the next one, so we wanna change that to, to Mike, and you do that with the increase, decrease, so you can go up and down. So in this case, let's decrease down to Mike, and then we'll boink that over, we'll move the carrot, and we wanna go to Charlie, so we'll increase that up to Charlie. So that's already done, and then we're gonna enter the grid, so 91911. 91911 and then 11750. 11750 should be a 10 digit grid. Yep, it took it because I typed it in correctly, but now I've got to add the elevation. So remember, I've got a deselect program and now add the elevation here at so 5391 for the uh, elevation up there at Tonopah. So that took it, and now I've got my, uh, my grid in for target three. So let's go down and look at the, um, the map, and you can see that that's changed uh, way up here, all the way up here to Tonopah, if you can see that. Let me uh, decrease that down. Yep, so now it's moved it from just north of Creech all the way up here to Tonopah, so we, are, so we know that that is correct. And that's one of the things I use, is I use the TSD to, uh, to validate uh, whenever I do a, uh, a change. All right, so that's really easy. Just remember, if I wanna change, Excuse me, if I want to change the, the grid numbers, I, uh, with a blank scratch pad, I uh, push PB2 to cycle that little arrow to the, to the letter that I want to change. And then I'd use the increase, decrease button to go up and down and then go to the next one and so on. If I want to change that, let's say, let's say this was like a 13 um, Papa, let's pick any random number. Uh, let's say a 13 um, Papa uh, Quebec Charlie or Papa Quebec Romeo. So we'll just type in 13. And then I'm going to boink that over to Papa. So I'm going to go decrease down to Papa. And what do we say, Quebec? So we're going to go uh, increase up to Quebec. It looks like it doesn't go high enough. So obviously it's probably an incorrect grid, but you get the point. So I can increase that to, uh, to whatever uh, number I want. Um, if the, the grid is not correct for the, uh, for the, the leading um, thing, it obviously doesn't work for, um, for Quebec, uh, then you probably have looked at it incorrectly. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna, I'm going to show you a very quick trick uh, to make this really easy. Uh, if, you, uh, if, you're, if you're working in an area with a JTAC but you're not really sure uh, what this leading grid is, uh, I'll show you a trick that we use actually in real life 
to, uh, to throw some targets around an expected area to save you a lot of time so I don't have to change these letters. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, guys, we've jumped into a, a new jet. We're in Syria now, and uh, we're expecting to work with a JTAC somewhere uh, around the Damascus area and possibly to the, uh, to the east of that. So we don't really know which of these grids we're going to use, so don't know if it's going to be the Charlie Tango, Bravo Tango, Bravo Sierra, or Charlie Sierra. So what we do is we'll throw a uh, point down in kind of the center. It doesn't really matter where, just somewhere in, the, in one of these grids. That way, when we talk to the JTAC and he says, um, let's, let's say he's going to give us a, uh, a, a nine line that's going to be somewhere on the outskirts of uh, Damascus here, we go, hey, target three point is in uh, the Bravo Tango grid, so let's use target three point, and then we'll just modify that with the grid that the JTAC gives us for the nine line. So we'll go ahead and jump in to the, uh, to the jet, and uh, we'll join you there. All right, guys, we're back in the, uh, the jet now. Uh, again, if uh, you remember, we put those uh, four targets in the four grids. So target two, three, four, and five. With the, uh, we're steering to the IP right now. So let's say we've just talked to a JTAC. We've done our, uh, our AO check-in, and he's already passed a nine line. Uh, that sounds as follows. One, two, and three are NA. Line four, 2110. Five is two-story building in, uh, on the eastern edge of a village. Line six, 37, Sierra Bravo Tango, 57507, 1148, I'm sorry, 11448. Line eight, friendlies, 1,000 meter to the east. Egress back to the wheel. And then we read all that stuff back. Uh, and uh, we start typing this stuff in. So rather than fumbling in the, uh, in the menu for the uh, changing the, uh, the letters for the grid and creating a whole new point, uh, we've already pre-planned this out to have some targets in there. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the, uh, on the uh, UFC. We'll do the same thing. We'll go into the um, steer point submenu. We're going to modify, if you remember, uh, steer three, was in that Bravo Tango grid, so we're going to choose that one. So we'll go uh, target three, go to UTM program. Notice it's already set to the Sierra Bravo Tango. So now all I need to do is add in the grid. So 57507, 7507, and then 11448, 448. Boom, it took it. Remember, I have to deselect program to uh, enter the altitude, so 2110, zero, bang. And then, now you can see if I go to a target pod, I can type in three point, and that's gonna be, uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. And that's gonna be uh, out at the, uh, the edge of that uh, village, uh, right on the eastern edge. So everything is looking good. I can go down and take a peek at the TSD. You can also see that that point is now on the eastern edge of the uh, uh, outskirts of Damascus. So again, all this stuff makes sense. Obviously, I'm going to read all that stuff back to the JTAC anyway. Um, but that's a very quick and dirty way rather than having to go through all the, uh, the hassle of changing that. Although this is very easy to change. Um, the issue is you can't uh, enter a, um, you can't create a point using UTM. You already have to uh, create it using lat long and then change it over to a, um, uh, to a UTM or MGRS grid. So that's why I find, and again, uh, guys do this in real life, they'll have basically just thrown a, t uh, a target somewhere in the, kind of the center of the grid. That way they're not having to type in a new target from scratch and it, it will make their life very easy. And then if I get subsequent nine lines and I'm still in that 37 Bravo Tango grid, I'll just keep reusing three point. If they change me to a different grid, I'll use one of these other points um, and make my life a lot easier. So I'll just kind of recycle the one point so I don't have to keep changing the, uh, the Sierra Bravo Tango. And then if I get changed to a different grid, I'll use, um, let's say, four point in this case. And then that would be my uh, 37 Bra uh, Bravo Sierra grid. Uh, and then I'll just modify that so I don't have to change this. All right, guys, that's it for uh, MGRS. Again, very quick and dirty. It's not hard at all. You just have to know where to look. And th then remember, the gotcha is you can't 
edit any point that you're steering to. So make sure that you're steering to something other than what you're trying to edit. Um, so it'll work. If it constantly is flashing at you, you've probably forgotten that you're actually steering to the point that you, uh, that you want to try to edit. Anyway, that's it for me for MGRS. Not so's out. Enjoy the patch on, uh, I guess on Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, it depends when you guys see this video. Um, just remember the patch is not a, uh, a huge um, bunch of new goodies. It's, it's uh, MGRS and AGR, I believe, are the only two like new features. The rest of it is bug fixes. Uh, and some of the bug fixes are fairly modest, so don't expect perfection on that. But there are some good stuff in there. All right, that's it for me. Nasso's out. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.